There is something so beautiful and sacred about vision and our visual cortex and being able to see the world around us. It makes life so foundational. The human experience relies heavily on this sensation vision, the windows of the soul. So how do we improve our vision? Well, there's many ways to go about this. And it's, it's not like we have to rely on a multi-billion dollar industry prescribing us stronger prescriptions every year through our contacts or lenses. We don't have to do that anymore. We can actually heal it through the foundations of nature. So let's jump into these modalities that actually work if you're consistent. <music> Hello friends, my name is Christian Van Camp, a holistic lifestyle and performance coach, biohacking hippie and nature enthusiast. I love things all natural healing and vitality. So please explore my page more if you want to tap into some foundations of natural healing. But let's tap into the beauty of Mother Nature by healing our vision. What God has given us, this clear cut vision. We don't have to have poor vision. I've grown up the majority of my life wearing contacts, glasses, and feeling like I have to rely on them solely and they're only gonna get worse every year because every time I would go in at a young age, I'd be like getting a stronger prescription than having my eyes adapt to it. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Because my eyes are actually getting worse by putting on these lenses that are stronger because they're adapting to the stronger lens. We don't have to do that anymore. This multi-billion dollar industry, we do not have to rely on anymore. Yes, it is healthy to get it checked out. Highly recommend that. If you have vision issues popping up, let's just stick to the foundations of nature. So some of my favorite ways to go about this is eye yoga. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off our glasses or contact lenses if you have them on, and we're gonna do a variety of movements. We're gonna look around and do circles with her eyes, stretching all the peripheral of her eyes, right? Getting all around it in circles. And you could do this for five minutes a day, a couple minutes a day, but going in both directions and really feeling all those muscles working in the eye. The lens is gonna be working in this. This is gonna help strengthen it to actually recalibrate your vision. You can go at different angles, top right to bottom left, top right to bottom left, repeat on the other side, go side to side, go up and down, and just work all of this for one to five minutes a day. It's a great way to go, preferably doing it outside. And this is for number two, is prioritizing going outside getting your circadian clock dialed in by having your lens adapt to the real world sunlight. Not being indoors all day with the, the blue light bombarding your vision and that for therefore depleting your vision even more. Also being on our phones excessively throughout the day, we're so close up close that we aren't able to actually adapt the vi uh, lens to be able to improve the vision itself. So this goes on to number three, when you take off your glasses, you know, getting the sunlight, doing these eye exercises, is practice optic flow. Go on walks without your glasses or contacts and just allow the things to pass by you. This works the nervous system in a way that calms the nervous system down and helps you adapt that lens even more to be able to improve your vision. Taking advantage of just looking off in the distance at a beautiful mountain range or nature in the distance or your city, whatever's around you in the distance, right? 20 plus feet away. This allows your lens to be working versus having everything up close, which causes a lot of issues over time. There's a book called Take Off Your Glasses and See, and there's a lot of anecdotal evidence of people improving their vision. This is true. Over the past five months, I've been practicing a lot of these modalities and it's helped immensely just with overall adapting my uh, eyes. I've noticed I actually don't need my glasses when I'm up close next to the computer screen now because I can start seeing all the letters a lot more clear cut. So if I continue at this rate, I'm gonna be healing my vision from negative three all the way to negative one in a matter of a couple years. I can guarantee that. I'll keep you guys posted on it. A couple of extras I'll add into this is getting blue light blockers for nighttime. So you can block out all that crazy blue light, which will help your vision adjust a lot more and not bombard your sleep, causing melatonin issues so you get deeper sleep at night. These blue lockers are so clutch when it comes to uh, really protecting your vision at night because it's not natural to have any sort of artificial light or light at all after sunset. So prioritizing this can help a ton. Another big foundation you can add on, which is a lot of fun, is actually juggling, believe it or not. So I've been juggling for the past two to three years. I can do four balls now, but I got my three right here. And this is such a good way to really work the vision overall. You could take off your glasses, so it's just really working all the different quickness of those muscles and allowing you to actually strengthen the lens, which is such a key component of healing your vision. So practice taking off your glasses and contacts, which by the way, contacts are loaded in a lot of PFAS, crazy forever chemicals. And I've been wearing contacts basically my whole life, so I stopped wearing those. Really helpful just to take off your contacts because they have those microplastics that are forever chemicals that leach in your eye. Just not a good thing. So take off your contacts, wear your glasses as best you can, lower your prescription of the glasses. You don't need to wear the strong prescription all the time. If you start wearing a lower prescription like the ones I have here, this is about uh, a plus one 
not as strong as the lenses I could wear, and that helps my eyes adjust even more as well. Get sunlight outside, do the eye strengthening exercises, juggle perhaps, and really expand your vision with optic flow and panoramic vision. Now let's jump into some nutrition, because nutrition is paramount for the healing of your cells, of your body, and your vision in particular. So to start off, we'll talk about some supplements. Some key supplements you can put in your arsenal are antioxidants like lutein. There's a ton of research on lutein helping out with combating some of the issues and free radicals that occur with excessive blue light, and then also been shown to heal your macula in many ways and support your overall uh, retina and improvement of your retina. So lutein, I take this every single day with zeaxanthin. It's around 20 milligrams. You can also play around with astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a really powerful antioxidant. It also has been shown to combat against some of the free radical damage that may occur from excessive sun exposure. So it's like an internal sunscreen. Astaxanthin and lutein are great antioxidants. Make sure you're getting adequate water every day from spring water or some filtered water sources. Avoid the tap water and stack it with some electrolyte powder and some good quality sea salt and minerals. These minerals are foundational for you to absorb the water, help out with your eyes. You can also stack on things like minerals like zinc and magnesium. These will help out a ton with cellular healing and will support your vision over time. So take advantage of those minerals. And lastly, I would say is fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K. So get those fat soluble vitamins up. It's so beneficial for your eye health. You know, getting it from healthy sources like beef liver or grass-fed beef, eggs are a great source of this stuff. Uh, kimchi or sauerkraut, which have vitamin K in it, um, pretty much just load up on nutrient-dense foods overall. You know, in these antioxidant rich foods containing things like lutein and astaxanthin. A last little component I will mention for nutrition is avoid your blood sugar roller coasters. The, you know how diabetics typically have issues with their vision? Well, it's because there's so much of blood sugar that's floating around that should be shuttled into their muscle tissue or liver, but it's excessively high, therefore causing a lot of inflammation in the body and they start having these issues with cloudy vision and just issues overall with sight. So if you can regulate your blood sugar, it helps a ton with your vision in general. Do your best to really just not have sugar roller coasters and have that consistent blood sugar throughout the day with high protein meals, 40 to 50 grams per three meals a day, and just regulate that blood sugar. It's really important to kick off all the hyper-processed foods to do so. So we covered a lot of things in this video. We got eye exercises, the eye yoga, the panoramic vision, going on walks with optic flow, getting sunlight, every day, getting the morning and evening sunlight with the healthy UV, you know, prioritizing things like eye stimulus activities such as juggling or working out even and walking, taking off your glasses commonly, you know, avoiding contacts due to the forever chemicals, prioritizing the nutrition with antioxidants, fat soluble vitamins, proper hydration. You know, we got things related to fasting and really having healthy blood sugar levels. It's a lot of stuff, but really if you keep it simple, you're gonna have great results with this. Take off your glasses and see, it's funny because I'm wearing my glasses right now. <laughs> If you guys got some benefit, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon. Please share this with other people that may benefit that are having eye troubles. It can really support them on their journey to heal their vision. If you're consistent with these things on a daily basis, I promise in a matter of years, you're gonna really notice a difference. Test it out, have something in the distance in your room, like one of those eye charts, and just notice that how you can really see it improving over the course of months by practicing these activities. I'll see you guys on the other side.